Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to the White Laboratory. Now, as you can see, the White Laboratory is a geometrical tower defense game where you build your defenses out of shapes. Now, each and every shape has a purpose. And there's also different colour levels, which I'll be going through too. Red colour levels are the basic ones. No, actually, no. Yeah, red colour levels are the basic ones. Green ones are the next level. There's like several different tiers of power. And obviously, I'm only using the first two right now because I'm very early into the campaign. Now, as we go into it, there are multiple different shapes. Also, there's enemy trains and things, as you can see as well. Now, the sphere shape, this one here, is the laser gun. It laser guns things, as if that wasn't, you know, much. So it shoots beams. Or, I don't know, it actually shoots... Actually, it's a cannon. It shoots projectiles. Oh, nearly lost you. Yeah, it shoots projectiles. The triangle over there shoots laser beams. I have just been introduced to it uh, right now, actually. And the spheres, as you can see, are basically rotors. Now, as you can see, this one, you can actually build them differently to slow it down. But yeah, each and every shape has a purpose. And you can destroy the enemy shapes to give you more of them. Certain shapes will explode and become yours if needed. Now, obviously, you want to have the more powerful shapes more often because they will help you out more. Like... I would like to have a lot more of the tower blocks. These ones, as you can see, these are not that badly damaged because they give me power. If you look at the side of it, you'll see it suddenly glow and power up. Every weapon and item in the game needs power. So if I build a brand new tower out of nothing, it'll take a while to actually power itself up and obviously you have to sort that out. Now, every tower you build, you can build in your own special way and the enemy is trying to kill it. There's different enemies doing different things. On this level alone, there is a train, as you saw earlier. There's also, of course, rotors which move at high speed when they're the enemy. The triangles, which I was going to call the prisms for now that I've forgotten. And also there's the enemy tower which comes through. This train. Which tries to kill you. The enemy kills you if they hit your mobile base. Obviously you have to break through the wall, then they go inside the actual... Oh. Shoot it. Then they go inside the actual doors which do damage to you. Which may be happening very soon if I can't stop them. But that is fine. Because I'm literally jumping back in. So I played it briefly just to make sure I know what's going on. Obviously this is uh, mission 2 of the campaign I think. Now every block can take damage. That's why some of the stuff has pieces missing after I blow them off. As you can see there's a corner missing here. So every block has health and power. Obviously the power is needed for the weaponry and things. And the health is needed to not be killed. Now. That is very important because certain enemies are very, very large. Like you can get maybe eight squares connected together which will devastate things. There's also bosses and so on later on. Now the very large ones of course will kill everything. So you need to make sure you're not really blocking their line of movement because you don't really want to lose the base of your tower and everything fall off into the abyss which is very abyssy there's clouds down there so you gotta be careful about that now, like i say you can build anything you like like this thing in the middle is what you know was built for me i didn't build this it's gonna work well and as you can see it's a little bit overly heavy it's very very physics based this game so you can very, very easily build really awesome and powerful physical based things. Just got to make sure, of course, that they work and don't just sort of fall over. Okay, do that. Let's move you over to here as well. Oops. Uh, come on. As you can see, when you put things underneath each other, they do push themselves up. Okay, move you to here, let's say, put you to there. Let's move all my, all my combat stuff up and to the front. Maybe a mistake, but we'll find out very, very soon. 
Now, because your base is mobile, this entire square is mobile, you put your blocks on these green squares and they move with your base. Now you go to transit, you can literally move to wherever you feel like as long as you have the power. As you can see, I require, um, let's have a look, 65, 89, so you just have to click to confirm, it costs 43 to move to there, 40 power to move to there, and 61 to move to there. Oh, there's a secret one over here. What is this? Intriguing. So I'm probably going to move to there and see what happens, because that was actually a uh, salt position earlier. It's a train! Yeah, it's the train station! Now obviously when the, you move, you leave everything behind which isn't connected to your base. Oh good, they fly now. Apparently, circles make you fly. So discs make you fly. I'm looking forward to be using a lot of them very, very soon, because I imagine they'll be here. But as you can see, the enemy does different things to what you do. Which means fighting the actual spheres, which are laser... No, which are just rotors for me. Very, very fast for the enemy. So are the spheres. The tubes. No, these are spheres. You're on the tubes. Yeah, the tubes move fast, so do the spheres. The squares move very slowly, the cubes. But they are also seriously powerful. Take a lot of hits. That's going to wipe that out, isn't it? It's going to drop and... Oh, don't make it drop! If it drops, it'll wipe out the tower. Uh oh Oh, it just punched me. I saw that. Oh god, the cubes are moving everywhere. The cubes are moving everywhere. Now I've got weird cubes moving around my base. Oh! No, 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 kill it. Knock it off. There goes one. No, kill it! Those are going to be nasty when they start moving around. Oh, laser beam, move you to the... Wasn't there a tower here? It was a tower. I remember that tower being there. Did I hit that? A little bit. So as you can see, I took a... Oh, I took a hit! I took two hits! Did not expect that. I took two hits and I wasn't looking. Oh, here comes another train. Never mind. But yeah, you want to make sure that you're killing off whatever you can and taking all the resources you need for the next zone. Because I can actually go back to the previous zone, which is literally over here. Well, yeah. As you can see, there's still some resources over here. I can't move them because I'm not over there, but they do exist. I can go back if I need to. What's coming? As you can see, there's a sort of fog. Oh, what are these? Oh, are these mini bosses? Wait. Destroy aircraft, keep pots, make it break pot. Use the right mouse. Wait, what? Okay. I can actually give commands. Take out the flying parts. Take out the beams! Uh oh! Uh oh! Do not let this get up! Do not let it get up! Do not let it get up! Oh no! So much damage! Give me that! Lost another tower over here! The train must have taken it out! How do I do this? Will you... Oh god, everything is exploding! So yeah, the enemy will throw curveballs at you, and obviously the way you've built your stuff will determine how effective you are! Oh no! Oh no! Quick, rebuild! Obviously, I couldn't build these things fast, it's all going to take a while because they're going to have to slowly get powered. Oh no. I'm not a fan of this build, it looks stupid. Keep shooting! Oh. Kill! Kill! Oh, don't drop it on me, don't drop it on me, it's right above my base. That train just came along and killed everything. But yeah, again, once you finish off the air, you want to be able to move to the next zone. So you take whatever you can. Please kill that off. There is a weight limit and a power limit, so you want to be careful of that too. Mm. 
But yeah, you want to make sure you have enough resources to be able to actively travel and kill everything. Keep killing. Are we done? Oh god. So I think we're done, so we're going to move on. Take enough resources to be able to kill the enemy in every position available. Which is right now is most of them because I'm useless. But yeah, you want to be able to carry things on, so you want to take all the resources you can, move on, build another fire base, would be that weird question mark thing I can see. So I know there's a boss on this level. Yes, the very last section of this level is a boss. Each level is, of course, broken into multiple different zones. Uh, let's move. So right click. Transit. Let's move to this one. Oh, A or B? Oh, this is interesting. Let's move to this one, which is slightly more expensive. It's further away. Oh, look at Wobble! That's not something you want to see. Oh, why was it shooting? Was that a train? It was a train. Oh, what is this? That's an enemy base. That's an enemy base. That's an enemy base firing at me. Oh god, so many lasers. Are we winning? Who knows? Keep fighting! So this was a sudden battle. Can I actually attack the station itself? Oh no, no, the stone train's gonna be out. Keep firing, laser beams. I don't think this was smart for me, I now have lots and lots of death going on. But as you can see, I've changed up what I'm gonna do, and there we are. Come on, power up! Oh god, I'm losing so many blocks. Oh, I lost so much resources. Yes, that's not a good attack for me. How much power have I got? Mm. Getting home's a problem. So I don't know that it will send out trains that I've taken this, but you never know. What's the blue one? Look, that's the next level of uh, block. I kind of need that then. A block has been destroyed, I'll be able to the other place, that's fine. So, we're in a little bit of trouble. We should be fine, all of our stuff is heavily damaged, which is eh, not good. Not good at all, if I'm honest. But you know, could be worse. I could have done it live on camera. Okay, the train station is actually shut down. Good. That is useful. Taking out the train station. So now we have to move on. We're going to rotate your thing to number three, because we're not going to fight oh, beyond power. Try reducing board structure mass. Cost 50. Okay. How much power are we currently at? Oh, still moving anyway. It lied to me. Oh, God! Wait, what? Let's move to the one next door! So we need more powers. You can see, we don't get the power to do that. We're powering too many things. So let's, um... Get the lasers. I guess we'll come back for some of them? Eighteen to thirty-one. It's gonna cost like fifty to get there. Um. Okay, that's a bit more power gone. Train to thirty-nine. Eh, better. Come 
come on. So you want to make sure your power is doing well. As you can see, Oz was not knowing a few minor issues. I don't actually care what you do. I do care what you do because you're a powerful one. Okay, how are we doing now? 21 to 50. Hmm. So we just need to get 50. So we need to get full on power. So yeah, we need to wait for our power to grow up. As you can see, this is how it shows the power. We have infinite power from the floor. And obviously, you want to make sure everything actually has power when it's shooting. This here shows where everything is. And also, the grid we are currently on. That's our build grid. Oh, so the trains are still coming continuously. Did not know that was actually a thing, but okay. So, our build up here. So, this is now a defensive position. That looks stupid. Interesting though, so we can't actually stop them. We just have to stay here now so our power builds up. But yeah, you do, obviously you can get rid of stuff on board, but we do kind of need most of the stuff on board. Now you can obviously, I keep saying obviously a lot, I'm obviously obviously. You can go back to previous zones and pick up the resources there. That is a thing you can do. It's opened. Oh. And it is actually recommended in certain places, of course, because you want to make sure you have the resources available for the murdering you're doing. I wouldn't recommend just staying, you know, in one place when you know you have 15 blocks back at home. But you also have the issue of waiting for the power to slowly build back. Because we have to wait for 50 power. Now, once I put all my stuff down next zone, I can have a look at how much power I'm doing, but it's probably not going to be that good. Let's transit. So, I'm moving to there. It should be easier. There we go. So, I'm back to here. The train will now no longer come here. Wait, what? Am I under attack again? I hope not. I want to attack again. So I need to wipe out the enemy position here because they are actually still trying to kill me. Huh. No, I like that. So as you can see, issues do happen if you don't fortify a place and you have to come back. There we are, fortified. There we are. The train obviously won't arrive because we're heavily fortifying that position too. There we are. So you can tell which blocks are going to be yours because the actual armour doesn't get damaged as you can see. Like that one. It just sort of flashes a bit. To get too close to us, I assume. We've got a lot of defenses back at base, but we'll see. We'll see. Our actual position is very well defended. It's got me just telling me there's actual blocks attacking us. How weird. I don't really want to stay here, really. Does however mean that going back to pick up stuff is actually more dangerous than I expected it to be. I'm enjoying learning something new while you're also learning something. How much power is it to move to the next zone? 50. Okay, it's always 50. Guess we're here for a little while longer. The train is of course being wiped out by our other firebase. Which is also heavily, heavily armed. I mean, not for them. We just stole it all. Huh. Okay. There we go. Keep killing him.
Give me that laser. There we are. Laser beam. Oh, another laser. That means that Air Force is going to come back now I think about it. Didn't like the Air Force the first time. We don't want to be here when the Air Force comes back. That was annoying to deal with. It actually caused me damage. Come on. We need to move. Here come the flyers again. Let's move to number three. Screw you, Assault Force. We're leaving. So that big pipe is obviously arming the enemy. Now we don't know how. Oh, what is this? Oh, flyers. Oh, what is this? Enemy enforcement transportation line. Be careful that weapon factory allows for mass production of flying reinforcements by a supply vehicle. So as you can see, things have now changed. So they can now build flying units. Okay, build you there, do that. So they probably have to do a few interesting things here. Okay, that's lasered. Okay, there we go. Oops. Don't nab it. Seriously. So there we are. So how am I going to wipe out this without... I'm going to have to wipe out some seriously long-range stuff, I think. Maybe a laser? Maybe a laser, yeah. Okay. Huh, okay. Go do that. Oh, you're not gonna arm. Oh, we well, firing, but not really what I was after. Okay, we'll work on that. Ooh, that's a, there, there we are. Okay, okay, I see how it goes. But as you can see, things are different. There is a big, massive boss at the back here. But obviously, I would like to wipe out everything it has gotten. Because we do have massive aerial defences being built here. The rear line is... ...been destroyed. We have lost everything at the rear. That's a problem. Supply tube is dead. I don't know what level of height this thing needs. There are so many things here. How high do I need to be for this thing to work? Oh, we're firing! I wonder, actually. Can I push you forwards? No, okay. What about you? What can I do with you? You're now a big tall bugger. Nothing? Hmm. Alright. A few experimentations never really hurt, but we seem to not be working very well. Yeah, we need more flying pieces for that. Okay. Hit this higher. That's as high as it goes. That's as high as it goes. Okay.
There we go. Let's arm this one. Wipe it. That's just a flying disc. Uh oh, I don't have enough defenses back at base. So yeah, every each and every level you come across has unique things to fight, which I do like. What well, can you put a second one on top? As long as the towers are brought down, I'm okay with that. Defenses. Oh god, the big flyers are back. The big flyers are back. Apparently, if you don't kill them from the other levels, they just come back to you. There we go. Oh god. Keep firing. Yep, we're going to lose here. This is a bad one. This is a bad one. Beams! Beams! So yeah, you do kind of want to not lose other positions. God, this is bad. So this is the aircraft platform. So that means reinforcement surviving in that place will have to go through this. Do that. Do that. Give it to you. Come on. We will do this. Push you up. There we go. Okay, push you to here. Laser beam you to here. There we are. So as you can see, the flying force defense core is vaguely better. And we are wiping out their defenses as well. Oh no, don't touch my stuff. Oh, you, why are you over there? Come back over here. I, I, can, I can actually move you. Move you to the... Huh, I'm okay with that. I can actually move him. That is better. This is fine, though. No. You need to be more high tea. You need to be a lot more high tea. Come on. But yes, this is the White Laboratory. Quite a fun little game, actually. Those are purple at the back there. This has very little power in it. Yes, they're completely out of power. They're not storing enough power for the whole thing. Um, problem. Where do you come from? They're coming out the put the tube again. The poob. Yeah, they come out the tube. Oh no, the reinforcement tube needs to be fortified. Transportation line is secure. Is it now? Doesn't look it. Everything's dead. No, I highly recommend this game. It is very, very fun. You can while away a lot of time in it. It's very simple, too. Okay, right click, do that to move to here. Uh oh, here comes another big guy. A lot of defenses, actually. Fire! Whoa, that one was powerful. Come on, but you... There is, there is fiddliness going on when you're trying to target certain things which are flying and so on, as you can see. I like... Mm, okay. But whatever, but yeah, there is fiddliness going on. It's been out long enough that that fiddliness will never be fixed, I'm afraid to say. But there you are. Fire! No, my Air Force! Why can't I target you?
So we can put that on at least. But yeah, either way, I have been the Fallen Shogun. This is a recommended who's that indie first impression of the White Laboratory. Oh no, the enemy's just releasing worse. So I have emphatically lost, as you can see. I can carry on obviously rebuilding and making things stronger, but I have lost more than they have. Either way, <laughs> wheels. Oh, oh, it just dropped it straight down. I have a massive eight cube moving in. Cool. Chows for the house, people. Oh my god. Bye bye.